Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, now we go to the last part of chapter 5. So, previously you learned about common emitter. The V out is at the collector. And your gain is actually uh, minus and more than 1, right? And now we move to the common collector. So, now where is your output of the common collector? So, we have C, B and E. So, your output for the common collector will be at your emitter. And your gain will be positive value and less than 1. So, what does that mean? Your AV must be positive and the value must be less than 1. 0 0.99 or 0 0.98 approaching approaching 1. Okay. So, this is the step how you're going to uh, derive the gain of the common collector. First, you need to identify what is common collector. The V out is at the emitter. Instead from the common emitter, the V out is at the collector. And your gain is the positive value. Okay. So in this case, for common collector, you need the keyword here is you need to swap the circuit and you need to do super mesh. So what does it mean by super mesh? means you have a one current source in between of two loop and then how you're going to solve this super mesh you're going to ignore this uh, current and you're going to have the car uh, the loop of the kvl across these two loop by ignoring the mesh so this is what we call super mesh okay again for the common collector for the hybrid pi model okay so here you have two options right you have gm vbe or beta ib so which one you need to use for common collector so you need to use what we call beta ib the second option okay so now let's see the steps so you're going to start with output side and then move to the input sides where you're going to have the super mesh in the kvl equation so let's recall what is super mesh so super mesh is there is a current source in between two loops so what you need to do is you are going to ignore this current source and make a loop across these two loops uh, by having the KVL equation. So this is the example of the circuit of the common collector. So I will show you how you are going to solve this common collector. Okay. Okay, so this is the circuit for common collector. So how you identify this common collector? First, your V out is at emitter. And when you derive the gain, your gain must be a positive value and less than 1. Okay. First step. Now, I directly transform to the AC analysis. For the DC analysis, will be the same common emitter. So during AC analysis, your capacitor will be short and your VCC will be grounded. So let's redraw the equivalent circuits. So you have your VS here, the input. And then you have your RS. Capacitor will be shorted. Your R VCC here will be shorted and then goes to ground. So that means your R1 and R2 are parallel. And then we go to your BJT. And then you have your RE directly connect together and then where should you connect your collector is goes to here and here is your V out okay so this is what we call common collector so if you see here here you have ground and also you have another ground here your aim is actually you are going to make sure your input is the most left and your output V out is the most right. But in this case, your V out is not in the most right. It's in the between the circuits. So what you need to do now. Change this one first to the hybrid pi model. So let's start with this three. So how you remember this one? B, E and C. In between B to E, you have R pi. 
in between C to E, you have a dependent current source. So in this case, common collector use beta IB. So where is the IB coming from the base? Okay. So this is what we call hybrid pi model. Okay. Now you are going to extend this one to the. This one is C B and E. So your C here will be connected to ground. Your E here is having R E. And here you are going to locate your V out. Okay. And then move towards the base. You have here R2 parallel to R1. And then you have R S. And then V S. Okay. So now you can connect this one together. Okay. Now. If you see here, your VR is in the middle, but your aim now, you're going to move your VR to the most right. So how you're going to do that? This means that you need to transform, you need to swap the circuit. What we call here, swap the circuits. So how you're going to start this again? Start with the hybrid pi model again. So instead you become B E C beta, it become B E C. Okay. Now let's redraw again. Between B to E, you have what we call R pi. Between E to C, you have a current source. But now your current source now is pointing from C to E, means it pointing upward. It become beta I B. Okay. Between E, you have E, C is actually grounded. E to ground, you have R, E. And this is also grounded. And at your R, E, you have V out. So now you, you achieve the aim to make sure your V out is at the most right. Okay, now move to the B. Between B to C, you don't have anything. But you have something between B to ground. So you read this one between B to ground. So you have R2 parallel to R1. And then you have your R, S and V, S. Okay. So this achieve your aim. Where you're going to make sure your V out is the most right. And your V in is the most, the most left. Okay. Next, what you need to do label where is your r out where is your r r in okay okay if you see here there is a current source in between two loops so this is what we call super mesh okay so when you do your kvl after this so you're going to make sure this one is between two loop this one going to be ignored until the rest okay so now from this circuit step number one we will start at output so v out is equal to i out r out so what is your output current at this side there is a current source right so your i out is actually beta i b and your r out here is actually r e okay Okay, go back to the input side this is your v in from your input side since here is vs they are not parallel so you need to introduce your v in so by using super mesh kvl starting from here the kvl will be minus v in plus r pi so this is kvl right what is the current flowing here is actually ib so we got r pi i b plus okay you know here is v out they are parallel right so the voltage across across here is also v out so we got minus v in plus r pi i b plus v out equal to zero okay and then you can get here v in equal r pi i b plus R pi I B plus V out. Okay. So uh before that your V out here is 
sorry there is some mistake here okay i out so how you can get the value of i out so what is the current flowing here i out so there is a junction here the current between b to e is actually ib and here is a junction this junction okay the current flowing in here is beta ib the current flowing out here is i out so your i out is actually ib plus beta ib so you can get here 1 plus beta so from here you want to plug in here so your i out is actually ib 1 plus beta r e okay okay now go back to the input side so you know here r by i b plus so what is your v out v out is from number one here i b one plus beta r e so you can take out your i b it become r by plus one plus beta r e v okay okay next the third steps since your gain is actually v out over v s v out over v s you only have the equation of v out and v in so how you relate between v in and v s you need to use what we call as usual voltage divider so here is actually your r in and here is your v in by using voltage divider v in is equal to r in divided by r in plus r s multiplied by v s so you can get 1 over v s is equal 1 over v in r in divided by r in plus r s okay okay now you are going to find the relation between a v equal v out over Vs. So what is the V out just now? I B from number 1 here. 1 plus beta R E multiply by 1 over V S. So what is 1 over V S? 1 over V in R in divided by R in plus R S. Now from here, here is V in, right? And in front equation number 2, here is also V in. So you can substitute the value here. So it become IB 1 plus beta R E divide by 1 over V in means IB R pi plus 1 plus beta R E multiply by R in divide by R in plus R S. So you just can cancel it. So, you can get your gain is actually 1 plus beta R E divided by R pi plus 1 plus beta R E multiplied by R E divided by R E plus R S. Okay, now let's see what is actually R in. Okay, now I'm going to show you once you got your voltage gain with this long equation so now you need to find r in so where is the r in so r in is located here okay so same with common emitter with r e so we have r in here and you're going to introduce what we call uh, r i b in front okay now why is r i b from the ohm's law r equal v over i right uh, r equal v over i so now you want to know what is r i b so what is the voltage at the r i b that is v in what is the current across this r i b is i b so you know your r i b is actually v in over i b okay by looking at this equation try to relate with this yellow equation here okay and then you can find the relation when you move your ib down you can get what is your r e i b actually 
R pi plus 1 plus beta R. So, this is the equation for your RIP. Okay. Now, our aim now, we want to know the value of R in. Now, where is your R in? Just now it's RIP. R in is R1 parallel to R2 parallel to RIB. So, we say R1 parallel to R2 parallel to RIB. How can you get your RIB? From the above equation. And then you can just substitute here. R in. Okay. Okay. Addition. If the circuit is having VA with some number. Let's say 50 volt. The early voltage. So, what you need to add at the circuits. So, means add your emitter here. Here, you're going to have what we call R0. So, your R0 is between C to E. So, mean here is actually RE parallel to R0. Okay. So, and your equation will be changed accordingly. Where you're going to have here parallel to R0, parallel to R0. Okay. 